Okay, YouTube, uh, decided I'm going to show you guys how to make a ladybug balloon. So I got a regular six inch balloon load up about that much. Everybody can see. Tie it off, obviously. Lay it to the side. Okay. Now you want to take a regular 150 uh, black balloon. Make sure it's black. It's, sometimes it's difficult with uh, Qualtex, certain balloons, certain brand balloons, to tell which one's which. I blow it up about a foot or so, cut out a little bit of air when you tie it, tie it off, and then what you're going to do here, this is a little bit tricky, but you're going to twist it, always twist it from the knotted end, give it about three or four full rotations, and what you're going to do, you only have about an inch, inch and a half right there, you're going to take the knotted end and twist it up into that that area right there. So you have something like that. And then you're going to do it again. You're going to do another another twist right about there. And then twist it into that other one that you just made. This is going to be, oh no, problems. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> There's too much pressure build up. Okay, so on to another balloon. Because I had a spare just handy, just in case that happened. But sometimes that does happen. Sometimes you can actually feel the pressure of the balloon if it's going to pop like that. So, so this is where we're at right now. Okay, everybody see that? I'm going to get off the, uh, away from the sun a little bit. And then you're going to do the same thing again. Twist it and then twist it into that area again. And hope it's not going to pop. And then again, so twist it about an inch and a half. Twist it into that large area again. I usually do it five times. Here's the fifth time. What you're going to have is something like that. Now you can use scissors to take off this end. What I do is I, I just bite it off. And then what you're going to do is you're going to tie that off. This is like the legs, kind of mouth, is the baby bug tie it again, just for good measure. Take this bad boy, the red body of the baby bug, and twist it, twist it right in there. So you have something that looks like that. Okay. So now, and then I have special eyeballs, eyeball balloons. And when you blow these up, see how it's still small like that? Blow it up about that much, because that, that'll look good. Because you can squeeze it out to make the eyeball come out more so it looks better. And you can also just use regular white balloons and just paint, uh, just uh, use a marker to, uh, because these balloons are a little more expensive. A lot of kids like these balloons. And, or, see that, there we go again. Just, just use a little bit of pressure. Try to make it kind of similar to this one so they're, they match up just a little bit. Time that time off. Coming to the close of this one. Okay, but, but this is still not it. Okay, so then you want to take this and twist it inside. So you have something that looks kind of like that, it looks kind of cute. A lot of the girls like this, a lot of women just in general like that, even adults. Okay, so then you have another black balloon, 150, and you blow it up just a little bit. That's too much. So you're going to let out a little bit. You want about like two inches or so, right about there, tie it off. This is a little bit tricky. Okay, what you're going to do right here is you're going to separate that area that so you have and then you're going to force this area so you see so you're going to try and get them about the same size you're going to force this area up force it all the way so you still have this you're going to have to keep that steady like that to keep this air from coming up into here and then just force this all the way up to the end to the very end keep on forcing it see what i'm doing and then what you're going to do is you're going to have something like this. 
So what I do right here is I let go of that because you're you're still cutting off the circulation from it. Because if you let go of this, all this air is going to come up that way. So what you're going to do is you got to tie it off. These are the antennas. you got to be careful not to get the air when you tie it off, too, from going in one end over the other. You want to tie it off in the center and then twist that inside of that area. And then adjust as needed to make her look pretty. You know, I try to make her make her look good. And then use a marker, obviously. What I do right here is I I just do a line all the way across. This balloon's like a uh, metallic balloon. I su suggest using just a regular balloon. Um, just a standard red balloon. So then you're going to go both ways. So you're going to have something that looks kind of like that. And then you're going to put just little black dots, like a ladybug, obviously, all over the body of the ladybug. There you go. And there's my ladybug balloon. Everybody can see. I hope everybody likes that. If you would like to see a lot of these at a birthday party, then hire my company and say that you would specifically like me to be there because I can make anything out of a balloon. And I cover Southern California area. So please, if you like my balloon, hire me to do your birthday parties or your corporate events or anything else. Take care, everybody. Hope you have a wonderful day.